welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be installing a wig from Recoil cool hair inside the package i received a 22 inch deep wave 180 percent density frontal unit i also received a bonnet wig cap lashes and some more stuff what the wig looks like straight out the package as you guys can see this is a full frontal so we will be doing a creative style the creative style will be two braids as you guys can see from the thumbnail and the knots on the wig are very small throughout the lace you guys can see how small they are from this clip When I'm making a dotted line across my client's hairline, I always place it in front of the cap. Even if there's no hair that'll be on top of the dotted line, I'll just leave extra lace on. If you do choose to install your wigs how I do, meaning how I lay out everything before placing it on my client's head, when you're placing the lace into the glue, you want to make sure that the middle part of the wig lines up with your client's actual middle part. If it doesn't end up lining up when you're placing the wig on your client's head, you can always go in with your hot comb and remake the part. When you're placing the lace on your client's skin, make sure that you have them hold the two sides just so that the lace won't lift up. When you're cutting the lace off, make sure that you cut exactly where the glue is because if you do end up leaving extra glue on your client's skin without any lace, it'll leave a sticky white line.
as you guys can see from the thumbnail i will be doing some dramatic baby hairs so for each swirl that i make when i'm cutting the baby hairs i make sure to leave that part a little longer so that it can swirl right around To style the baby hairs, I am using Got To Be Glued Gel and Cream Of Nature Mousse. When styling the baby hairs, you do have to move a little fast because if you don't, then the baby hairs will start to move out of place. If you look closely on the left side, the swirl that I did on the top um, already moved out of place. And the side that I'm doing now, the same swirl already started to move. I did fix it before placing the wrap strips down.
when the baby hairs are completely dried you can take off the wrap strips and place some bio silk on the parts that you will be hot combing When I'm hot combing the wig, I do make sure to hot comb in the direction that I want everything to stay. Before I start braiding, I do place a little bit of gel on the roots of the braid just so that the braid can look a little neater. If you want to know how I'm doing these braids, I do have another video up on my channel showing you guys how to do stitch braids.
When I finished braiding, I used the same makeup that I used on the cap and the wig and outlined all the parts to give it a sharper look. We did end up keeping the baby hairs just how they are, but this is the finished look and thank you guys so much for watching.